Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of the Not For Sale Iron Man series. Last episode we got our rogue set, we got some herb seeds, we started doing some farming. We've got a couple more farming quests to do before we can get up to Reynolds. And we're also going to improve the way that we do our farming runs uh, by doing quests such as Ghost Ahoy and also getting some Shazy in favor, favor so we can get a Xerx Talisman. Here are my stats for anybody who's new. I'll let you peruse that as you wish. If you enjoy the video, leave it a thumbs up, and if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy. <clears throat> Alrighty, so 32 farming, just got it. I can now grow Raynar weeds, which is awesome. I have a couple of Raynar seeds in the bank. Um, so now I can start making prayer pots. All I have to do now is just get my herb lore up to be able to make prayer pots. So that's what I'm going to focus on right now. Pretty decent farming trip. Let's have a look. 62 potatoes, 3 limps, 19 Harrowlanders, some taramans, some sweet corn. Everything's looking pretty nice. Good herb lore XP here. But before we jump into some prayer training, I'm just going to do a few games of Barbarian Assault. Shout out to my boy Chris for helping me out. Um, I'll link his channel in the description. You can check out his videos. He's doing uh, mini games only Iron Man. It's quite fun. So go and check that out. I'll link it in the description. Alrighty, so I did some Barbarian Assault, got level 2 Defender, and enough Defender tokens for the torso, and did a little bit of Herb Lore, and now I can clean Raynar Weeds, which is awesome. Hopefully I can make some prep pots soon, but yeah, fuck yeah, let's get into some Herb Lore XP. Yes boys, 26 Herb Lore. Energy Potions, let's fucking go! Yeah boy! Yes, this is beautiful, the first clean Raynars on the account. Let's get those awesome clicks in, not too bad of a clicker. What a fucking good claim to fame. I'm a really good clicker. Let's fucking go. First energy potions of the account. This is awesome. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna be able to run everywhere. This is so great. Getting around Zaya is gonna be so much easier. I'm definitely gonna do the Zaya quests. There's 27 herb lore coming in strong. 875 total. Let's get the fuck on, son. And a sneaky teleport to Lumbridge so I can buy some more chocolate dust. I haven't progressed that far in the recipe for disaster quest. So I can only buy two per chest. Gonna hop around a bit, get a few entries of chocolate dust particles. Let's get the fuck on with it, chow. With chow, with chow, with chow. Alrighty, so I've got Holy shit, I did it without getting locked out once. Um, one shot, but I'm just gonna get it from this hold anyway. That was pretty cool whole inventory of chocolate bars. Let's mush them up. So many energy pots. This is great. Alrighty, and that's all of the Harrowlanders that I have used up on energy pots, which is awesome. We check out the pots tab and it's coming along a little bit nicely. Some organization went into this. Uh, so we got 66 attack pots, like 20 strength pots, 20 anti-poisons. So many energy potions. I'm so excited about that. Um, Alright, let's go and collect some more Harrowlanders. I also have to make some more super compost and ultra compost as well. I've just been rinsing through all the ultra compost I made. Uh, to be honest, I should have kept some super compost to use on the hops. Not the hops, the allotments. That's okay though. Iron Man, grind, good fun. Let's do it. So I'm going to camp charters for a little bit. I'm going to collect pineapples and also seaweed for future crafting gains. And then I'm just going to hop worlds and do that a bunch of times until I have enough pineapples for bulk, bulk, bulk bulk super compost and then I'm gonna go mine some more volcanic ash make myself some ultra compost so I can continue on this epic farming grind and we've also got a couple of farming quests coming up so stay tuned guys if you guys are enjoying the episode smash the like button and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of these gains let's fill up the bank we've removed the coin placeholder so we can just quickly bank everything without destroying the coins all right there's 75 pineapples let's do a quick farm run Yes, so I found the compost bin that I had put some pineapples in, so I'm going to collect all of the super compost from there, make what I can into ultra compost, and I'm just going to use that for herbs and save the rest for super compost. And the first Raynar seed planted. Alrighty, I'm done with farming for now, I'm just going to work on herb lore with the remaining herbs that I have, and then I'm also going to do some quests to make my farming a little bit easier. I know I said it before, I never got around to it, so it goes to Hoy, and also I need to get the Xerix talisman for the Zaya teleport and I also need to unlock the Trollheim herb patch as well. 
Gonna start off by making this old lady some tea. She loves her nettles. And now she's got milk. Oh, okay, I have to paint the flag the right color according to the real ship. And we got an enchanted ghost speak Emmy. I've run around so much this quest, I fucked up the boat thing. I was trying to get her to tell me what the colors were, I didn't realize I had to go to the real life boat. Yeah, long quest, very awesome quest though. I do unlock the Ectophile and free access to Port Plasmatos, which is great, really good furnace there. It also enables me to do my farming runs a lot faster. With that awesome unlimited telly straight there. Alright buddy, the gig's up. It's time for you to let these people go. Let these ghosts go. Ghosts who wish us so pass into the next world. Yes, winning at life. 2.4k prayer XP as well. That's not bad. Can't complain with that. And that's the Ectophile unlocked. That's going to be awesome for farm runs. Now I have to unlock some methods to get to Zaya a little bit better than going to Port's room from Falador. I think 25 construction for a Karend house portal. That's very doable. I have plenty of oak logs. Plenty of cash. I have 25% shares in favor. I can do some Zaya quests so that I can unlock the uh, the favor a little bit quicker. Camp some Shazian lizardmen with my cannon and just blast that out until I get the tal the Xerix talisman. Or it's level 69 magic from level 62 to get the Koren teleport. We're gonna do client of Koren. So I pretty much just brought an entire inventory filled with energy potions because I know I'm going to be running around Zaya for 4 hours if I don't have these potions. It's a shame they only heal 10 each though. I'm going to rinse through them all. But I'm glad, I'm so glad to have them. This is a luxury for me right now. I can run until infinity. Wow, I brought that many energy potions sort of as a joke. Sort of like a bit of a fuck you to Zaya. But uh, just this first part of the quest I've used about 7 of them so that's Awesome. 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 Client of Karen done. Let's rub this antique lamp and we're going to stick it on Herb Law, of course. And that is 30 Herb Law. Defense Potion, Renner, and White Berries. I'm not going to waste my Renners on Defense Potions. Thank you very much. 38 is the next goal for Prayer Pots. That's going to be fucking cool. I know there's a few quests I can do for some Herb Law, and I'm, I'm just constantly smashing out the farm runs, so. Herb law should not be a problem anymore. So I've never seen this book before. I don't remember getting it on my main. Uh, Cardist's memory memoirs. So it's really cool. Teleports you all over Zaya and is charged by finding torn pages, I think, and then it gives you charge, and then you can recharge it with runes or something. I don't know. Very cool. It's going to be handy. I'm going to use that at some stage, I'm sure. And I'm really glad that I've got this certificate instead of just making me pick a house. That way I can actually save it until I get 100% Shazian. Uh, so I can use that 20% on Piscatorius. Pisca whatever this house is. So I can use that for the first 20% for that. We're going to get Artie Medium Diaries done. So we can get extra 10% chance to pickpocket. Alright, so this is going to be super fun as an Iron Man because my stats are super low level and I can't actually buy anything. So... First on the list, grapple over Yanil's south wall. Now I need 59 smithing to smith a myth grapple, and also 59 fletching to attach it to the bolt. So it's going to be a bit tricky for me. Let's check out the stats. Smithing, 37 out of 59, and fletching, 39 out of 59. So that kind of sucks a little bit. And these are the monsters that drop the grapple, so let's check those out, see if there's any that we can actually kill. They're all 166 combat, a skeleton brute 132. It's an uncommon drop, and they've got a whole bunch of other random stuff. Let's check them out. Many other high leveled monsters, including myth dragons. Brilliant. They're quite high hitting with a maximum 18 low accuracy. That's alright. These monsters are not considered to be undead, as indicated in uh, Cross Undemble. Not immune to poison. Defensive wise, negative magic defense. So I could, I could maybe mage them and hope and pray for a grapple. Decent drop loot though, to be honest. It's quite large. And this is the Skeleton Brute. Again, magic defense is quite low. So I think Mage might be the way to go. And I'm probably going to have to protect Melee or Mage or something in there. Or maybe Dragonfire Shield, I think. I'm not sure exactly where in the cavern they are if the green dragons are just kind of floating around. So, interesting choice here. While I'm here in Draenor, I'm just going to trade Fortunato. Fort Fortunato. I don't know if it's Italian. Buy some vinegar. Started the Rag and Bone Man quest on the way, so anytime I kill anything, there's a chance I'll get the bones there. So I may as well just get the vinegar and clean them up as I go, so then they're all ready to go at the end. I have such low HP for some reason, so I'm just gonna quickly get a few and just die and come back. Cheeky Harvest. 
And I've also got strawberries, so that's another arty task knocked off. Here we go, first strawberry, many of many berries. Exchange with Conor McGregor. Thank you, mate. <laughs> and now the gangbang in the corner happens. Man, I'm gonna be thieving till the day I die at this rate. K.O. Got to keep my three seeds that I brought that I couldn't even plant. Oh boy, here I go, doing thieving again. I'm gonna go, gonna go and commit some thievery. Burglary. I don't know why I got so southern then. Man, I'm only 52 thieving, I, I keep getting my ass kicked a lot of the time. Just gonna drink up my wine here. Why not? But um, Yes, finally got some herb seeds and it's Guam. So I'm super close to 53 thieving. Currently 52 and this sucks a fair amount. Uh, I have about a 25% success rate. This guy is rinsing through my wines. There we go, another miss. I wonder if it's worth doing at this level at uh, 52 or 53. I wonder if I should go and get it to maybe 75 or something with Pyramid Plunder and see if I can you know, do a little bit better. I'm gonna get the seeds that I need for today. I'm just doing it day by day, like, I'll start the day thieving some seeds. I need to get a better way of finding herb seeds. If you know a better way of uh, getting herb seeds, chuck it in the comments. Appreciate that. If you're enjoying the series, and if you're enjoying this episode, chuck a like on the video, and if you're new, make sure you subscribe. And 53 thieving, that is good for desert treasure. That's fucking cool, let's get it. Yes, boys, a marantil we're eating tonight. Alrighty, so I'm all out of wine, and i am got enough herbs for one decent farm run. I'm 2 HP, I'm out of prayer, I was using rapid heal, that's quite cool. Um, I didn't get as many high level seeds as I had hoped for. I've been here for about an hour, and my best was 10 Guams, 4 Taraman, 2 Marantil, and 2 Haraland. I didn't get any Rainars at all, so I definitely need, uh, I, just, I just need a good way of getting herb seeds. In the comments, track it below. Just do it. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick farm run. And uh, we're gonna get on with the day. Shit, yes boys! I just ran past on the way to do a farming run and I got a fucking red RC, but I wasn't wearing the road gear! So I didn't get the double loot. It would've been epic, but I have one rain RC, boys. Let's fucking go! And we're just using super compost at the moment. We don't have any ultra compost just yet. Yo, what's a DJ's favorite herb? Ear it? Ear it? Alrighty, let's have a fucking run. Keep saying this, but I need a serration army. I tried going to the, the shaman, the little, not the shaman, sorry, the little lizardman, and they just keep messing me up. I'm, too, I'm just too weak. I need to do some actual combat training. This is ridiculous. You know what? I can come and train at sand crabs. That might not be a bad idea for ranged and melee training, but I have so much gear that I need to acquire, like all the best in slot stuff that I don't have. I am running a, a coif and leather chaps for ranged at the moment. It's terrible. Six Rainer reeds, one more left over. Let's clean that bad boy. Beautiful, seven prayer pots. Nailed it. Medium Mauritania task done. Teleport to the Ecto place with the Ecto thing. So that's awesome. I fucking love it. I'm so glad I did Ghost Ahoy. It was stressing me out so much having to charter. It was like 3k every time. And uh, I'm poor. So that's cool. I did the full farm run on just one 100% energy. So thank you, Graceful. And thank you, 63 Agility. Yo, so this is huge. 35 fucking farming. So now I can do teak trees. That's fucking cool. I've already unlocked Fossil Island. I can bang in some teak trees, bang some birdhouses out, and bang out some awesome planks for construction. This is, this is fun. I'm excited about that. There's so much stuff that I'm unlocking. There's so much stuff to do on this account. It's all very exciting. Not a bad farm run. We've got nine limports. We've got some Marantil and some Taraman for low-level herbal training, some Haraland as well for energy potions, uh, 24 potatoes for food later on, and we've got some strawberries for some stackable food, I guess. I don't know, it was an arty task. And then 13 Rena weeds. Let's fucking go. First prayer pot's coming in. Damn it, I had huge plans for this one single jade that I had, and it turned into a crushed gem. Rip. So now I gotta run around and grab some secondaries for some herbal gains so we can get up to uh, prey pots. So first of all I'm just gonna get a bunch of cow hides from Lumbridge and I'm gonna go to the Tower of Life and kill a bunch of unicows so we can get some unicorn horns. And then I'm off to the Grand Tree to buy some chocolate and maybe bulk, bulk pineapples as well. We're rocking a pretty sweet range setup here. We got the, uh, the cabbage cape, the bronze bolts, the iron crossbows, full leather. We've got a hard leather shield. This is brilliant. We're, we're dominating this game. Ooh, actually I forgot food. But I've read on the wiki that I can pickpocket <laughs> these guys out here and I can get some free stuff. <laughs> some sandwiches and whatnot. And I've got fucking hiccups. What the fuck? There we go. A couple of fods acquired. Fucking, I forgot a unicorn horn. <laughs> oh, 
Where is the unicorn? Come to me, unicorn. Oh, he mad. Oh, he very mad. Get your pitchforks, boys. We're going unicorn hunting. Yeehaw! Die. Murder. Just kill it. Just do it. Oh, I need fairy rings. This is the worst day of my life. Yes, prepare to get myrtleized. When I catch you, damn you, no energy. Prepare to taste my steel, you beautiful beast. All right, we finally got our unicorn horn. We've got our cow hides. We've got some sandwiches. I've got an energy pot for some reason. And uh, let's do it. We're gonna collect some unicorn horns. What ungodly abomination is this? This is some fucked up voodoo shit. But great unicorn horns. T flask on the first kill, no idea what it does. A uh, bunch of unicorn horns, some bones as well. Alright, first trip. Uh, we've got about 20 unicorn horns there. It took me maybe six minutes. And I got a green satchel, so I can actually pickpocket these guys and store their sandwiches in the satchel, so that's really cool. I wonder if using rogues will give me double sandwiches. I'm just gonna quickly go and grab that. What the hell? This satchel can only hold one triangle sandwich. What the fuck is the point of it? It can hold one cake, one banana, one triangle sandwich. Emptying that, thank you for the sandwich, dropping that, never picking it up again, TTYL. Alrighty, so I've changed into my ghetto as fuck melee gear. Oh, my gear is lacking so bad, look at this, Iron Man helmet, Iron Man legs, rune chain, rune sim, and a shield, I guess I don't really need that much defense, I'm just gonna kill some cows real quick. But I do have a strength pot and a attack pot, and I also brought Excal Excalibur for some defense. Yeah, I'm really glad I have pots. Pick long distance juggle while I bank. Are the supplies still there? They are indeed. That's how you play, baby. Yeah, no. Alright, let's grind it up. And the perfect amount of unicorn horns there. That's gonna be the last inventory for now. And let's go do some more herbal. Alright, just gonna grab some secondaries here. Luckily, Hudo in Gnome Stronghold has chocolate dust and also chocolate bars, which is fucking great. So I'll just smash out a couple of inventories of this and stockpile a bunch. So we went to Felador, of course we got our sapphires as we ran past, as we always do, and we got full inventory of snake grass, and I got another limpport as well. And now let's do bulk herblore in hopes of reaching prayer potions. That's the goal for today. Starting off with some energy potions casually. Fuck yes herblore, fuck yes mate. Fuck yes, 37.5 XP per unicorn horn. Definitely worth all that time I spent running around looking for fucking unicorn. I need to get my herblore XP on the fast track. Alrighty, so I got 32 and 33 herb lore as well, and now it's time for one more quick cheeky farm run, and that'll be the last of the limp warts and any other uh, Taraman and Marantil that we got. After this potion making frenzy, I'm going to go and try and get a mithril grapple so I can do arty medium diaries. Alrighty, doing a little bit of herb lore, got some more energy potions and a little bit more strength potions, and now I can make agility potions. So that is, I'm one limp wart short of all the potions I can do, but I'm not gonna go and waste time getting just one. This is the end of the herb lore ish grind. I didn't quite make it to pro pots, so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next. Let's check the pots tab, see how it's doing. 65 attack pots, 45 strength pots, 85 anti poisons, 55 energy potions. I feel like I'm doing well. 200 potatoes cooked, and I have not enough pots of butter or anything like that. Alrighty, so we down here. We in, we in Varric basement. This is where we hang out, low level Iron Man life. <laughs> Stealing gold bars from the vault. That's how we roll. Alrighty, so got a bunch of gems, got my gold bars, made myself a ruby necklace, a emerald ring, a sapphire necklace, and a sapphire ami. I did lose my magic ammy when I died at one point, and I'm also going to make a holy symbol, because I'm pretty sure you need it for a few quests, so that's that. I've got a diamond left, I can't make a power ammy yet, and let's quickly enchant everything. Yo, I didn't need a quest or anything, or any sort of barbarian training, although I did some, I guess, since I have the smashy vials, so I guess that's cool. Oh, nope, I drowned. Okay, never mind. Alrighty, so I'm trying to get into that ancient cavern so I can mage some of the skeletons to get a myth grapple to make a start on RD medium diaries and also it's just going to be handy to have a grapple for other shortcuts. Uh, so first I have to do some barbarian training but before that I have to get my fire making to 35 so that is 30 right there now I can burn willow logs nice it should be a little bit quicker and you can see here I've just gone straight through there's 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, uh, 51 wood cutting in there as well so yeah five more levels let's get it on the willows. And that is 35 fire making. Yes! It, 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 it. 
Teak logs, boy, let's get some teak logs, yeah. And I moved over to Cami, or Sears rather, and that's uh, 52 wood cutting. I'm just going to stay here until 45 at least, if not straight through to 50 for Winter Todd. And 42 fire making there, that's the answer to last great questions. Right, I'm going to quickly bash out the Enlightened Journey quest. Alright, so apparently I'm not going to smash it out. I have to get 12 willow branches, which means I have to plant enough willows to get 12 branches or wait half an hour. Nice of them to give you a free willow tree though. Just going to drop off the silk and the sandbags and then I have to go and get 10 logs and then apart from that I have to get the willow logs, uh, the willow branches, sorry. Uh, so in between that I'm going to do something else while I'm waiting for the branches to come through. So my next quest is the Tale of the Righteous. It's a really quick quest and I can get some easy shades in favour. Definitely going to need more energy pots for this quest, 100%. I managed to get right to the bank, that's perfect. Let's go. It's maze time. I think that's got to be my worst maze ever. I was so far away. I feel like I was there for a very long time. 62% of the reward left. 1800 cash on the coins on the floor. We got uh, some iron arrows and some myth ore. Coins are staying on the floor. That was a really awesome puzzle. I enjoyed that. Alright, let's go run another marathon. Corrupt Lizardman, that's interesting. Let's go. Let's see what you got, buddy. I'm gonna two hit you, motherfucker. Boom. Even this dude's office is big. Check it out, I had to run a full mini map to find this dude. And quest done, that was pretty easy. One quest point, 8k coins, a favor certificate, and a memoir page, which is cool. It's like a free teleport, which is nice. Let's read this Shazian favor, get that 10% bonus. And that puts us up to. 36% shades in favor, so I can almost do the gang stuff, gang gang, uh, and we got a book, a page for the book. Great, I need to get a talisman. Yes boys, right now I see So this is a few hours later, I've just been killing the little baby lizardman. 54% favor of shades in house right now, and I still haven't got my talisman. It's really starting to annoy me, and time to quickly bash out dwarf cannon. Easy game, mate. Dwarf cannon done. I think I gotta go back to Nooblubadoobadoo for the actual cannon and. Oh shit, I have to buy it. 750k? Fuck. Yes, boys, I got it. The Xerx Talisman. It's taken me so many fangs, I cannot wait to get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Oh, I'm glad I stayed. There's a red RC. seed. Very nice. I'm just gonna see if we can get back to back so we can get bulk fangs. Let's check it out. 413 Lizardmen I had to kill. That is. A lot. 56.3 favor in Shazen House. Now I can move on. Talisman has 82 charges, that's what I'd like to see. And I was there so long that I made uh, three Zeration tops, two Zeration bottoms, and I have some spare fabric. So I'm pretty happy that I persevered. I was going to use a cannon, but then I figured out that I had to actually afford a cannon and couldn't be bothered going back to the Agility Pyramid for like another four hours because, you know, it's late and it's been a very long day for me. So. There's that, there's just one more thing that I have to do in order to optimize my farm runs, and that's my big arms adventure. So let's jump into that. But first, let's plant this Renar seed that we just got, and of course, try out the brand new talisman. This happy fucking days, oh my god, I'm so happy that I don't have to run all the way across there to get to the farming patch anymore. Dream come true. Actually, there's a few more quests that I need to do before big arms adventure, so I'm gonna leave that for the moment. Alrighty, the first tree on this account, let's check the health of this willow tree. Nice juicy XP drop, 37 farming, and now i got to wait for the branches to grow. I'm so glad I got the talisman. Look at the ecto file now. There's a few more things I need to tweak to get the most out of the farming experience, and I also need to make I find a way to get a bunch of seeds. There's kingdom. I can get some money for kingdom, do those quest lines, or I can also get my fire making up and do some winter tod. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button, and if you are new, make sure you subscribe. We got Iron Man series from scratch, never really played an Iron Man before. So if you enjoyed the content, check out some more of the other videos. I've got a playlist with the entire Iron Man series, you can check that out. And if you feel like supporting me, uh, if you feel like being like an absolute G, then you can check out my t-shirt store. Yeah, the link in the description is below. So thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one.